Hello, 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 and welcome to a brand new mini series for Caves of Cud. This is going to be a a kind of rework of the Cave Dweller build that we've done in the past, where we start our playthrough and then we have to go immediately underground and we can never come back to the surface. So let's make a brand new character here. Mutant Arcanaut. Now you may notice we have some extra mutations. You can find the link to this mod down below. I believe it's called WM Extended Mutations. We go Chimera. We go Acidic Blood. Literally what it sounds like. We take Albino as our defect. And then we take Chitinous Skin. Or Extra Armor, Extra Strength. We're going to be taking, where is it, serpentine form, this is what I was looking for, we are we are going to be a slithering serpent below the depths, I'm also going to be taking a poison stinger, and then with our final point we take night vision, let's go. I'm going to start with a pretty even spread, we're going to go 18 strength, 20 agility since we have a bonus from our calling. We're going to take 18 toughness. Let's go 16, 16. How many points we got left? 8. Ego we care way less about. So let's go... Let's go crazy with it. Let's go 18, 18, 18. And then go... 19 strength, 19 toughness. Good, good, good. I have a name in mind. That name is Aig. Shout out if you get the reference. That's a pretty deep cut. Next. Now, before we select Dropper here, we can select a player model. And I think the closest to what I think we should look like will be the leech. We'll go drop a start. Now, the rules are we can go do a little bit of trading right at the beginning here. Interesting, we've actually started with a force bracelet. It looks like. Yep. <laughs> okay, so instead of feet, we have a tail. And on that tail, we have a stinger. Yeah, we start with a force bracelet. That's kind of uh, kind of tasty. Other than that, we don't have anything too special. We are going to need to stock up on water. First and foremost. Now, reputation doesn't really matter too much here. All we really care about... Just imagine right now our skin is burning. And we have to get underground. But before we do that, we can't help control ourselves. We rob Jopper blind. These guys have no idea. All they saw was a giant worm come into town, or a giant snake. And steal everything. We will of course grab all of the ammo we can get. Because there's not going to be much chance to pick any more up. Similarly with water. The only trading we're going to be able to do. Is with any humans that we come into contact with. Because our ego is so bad. We're paying an obscene amount of money. For uh, ammo right now. But it is what it is. Let's get rid of some of this garbage just to make up for it. Okay. And all of our copper. Alright. We best go. Let's equip the bark armor. Also, let's just quickly identify whatever this is. Freeze grenade. Alright. Down we go, boys and girls. Now, I was going to make a caveat that 
every like 20 levels or maybe just one time we're allowed to visit the surface but i think i think this is it i think we're um i think this is our entire existence now Okay, beautiful stuff. Look at me go. Let me quickly rearrange this. Let me put Sting on number one. Imagine a, a, a giant snake shooting a bow. That's kind of surreal. Okay, we can't die yet. What are we what are we using right now? We're using two daggers. Which is interesting. We do start with short blade, but we are going to respec. Cuz we have decent strength. So I'm going to equip the iron battle axe for now. And let's keep exploring here. Okay, there's clearly a young ivory right there. You can't fool me. We're going to want to take, like, uh, charge. I think charge will be very fitting for our build. I'm a little bit scared of bears. In real life and in game. Let's sting it. Get it poisoned. Okay, good, good. Poison's helping a lot. And there we go, level 2. Remember, we are slightly slower than a lot of guys. We have 95 movement speed. But I think that might only be temporary. We will equip this uh, studded leather. I'm not sure what I want to spec into in terms of uh, weapons. I do know that a ranged weapon is going to go a long way. Um, we have decent strength, so we're kind of incentivized to go with either axe or cudgel. We may end up going long blade. Let's see. Uh, what should we level up first here? I'm quite intrigued as to what strength score means. Does it just mean this? I would assume so. Every level increases our poison damage that we take, so we have to be really careful about that. Otherwise, we can do serpentine form. Which means we lose our movement speed penalty, which is good. We get one extra DV. Oh, apparently we have... Wait, hold on. We have the constrict ability. Yeah, it's right here. Okay, okay, okay. Otherwise, we upgrade Stinger, which is also great. Um, let's go for let's go for Chitinous Sting. Or well, sorry, Chitinous Skin. Yeah, and our strength went up by one. That's great. Now I'm thinking of specking into multi-weapon fighting because it gives us a chance for our sting to rock. Plus, because we are Chimera, it means that we have a chance to grow new limbs, which means we can fully take advantage of multi-weapon fighting. It's definitely not going to be as effective. Let's try and constrict this guy. Okay, so this guy's currently constricted. You can see here. I'm quite sure what that means. Oh, we just drag them along with us. It's like, um... What's the axe ability called? It's like hook and drag, essentially. Speaking of axes, let's just spec into axe real quick. Good. 
Good, 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 good. Level three. I'm impaled. And there's some of our acid blood. Very cool. Okay, uh, let's go a point of toughness here. And let's grab... Probably do that. Can we upgrade this yet? We can't. Pick. We do that. We are now moving at regular speed, which is great. What I'll probably try and do here is clear the waterlogged tunnel if possible. And then we'll go down from there. Now, I have no idea how long this playthrough will last. It may last, we, you know, it may be over in an hour, it may be over in ten. So, we'll just keep going. And see what's what. Let these guys come to us. Okay, you cracked my armor. I don't appreciate that. We've got a stun rod there. keep moving I think I saw a bear no a chameleon it's basically a bear I use constrict there is a mod I was planning on using for this uh, built by Narf who is a UI designer for CUD however uh, I think it's no longer being developed. It's called the Underdark mod. Really great mod. Used it a lot in the past. Perfect for this kind of build, but like I said, I don't think it's still in, in development. Could be wrong about that. Let's grab this. You never know if we'll get some trades off at some point. Keep moving. Slime. And some gloves. Uh, we do have hands, so we will equip those. Yeah, if if I forget somehow, and we end up going to the surface, that's it. It's game over. We have to end the run essentially. Let's grab an early cleave going to help us out a lot. Oh, that's poison. That's literally our worst nightmare. Let's sting this guy and then constrict him just to be safe. Heal ourselves up. Okay, we are being shot. Like you wouldn't believe. Stop this. Come closer, my friend. There we go. What we're kind of looking for at this point is like... Sometimes you get really lucky with things that snap jaws might drop, like carbide weapons. In fact, in the daily today, um, we found a carbide folding hammer that dropped from a snap jaw, which is kind of crazy. Let's constrict this slime. I was initially going to go for an ooze build, like a slime as well. But I thought a snake might be cooler. All right, and now we follow the river. We may be a snake, but we do enjoy a good meal. Get constricted. Oh, he made the save. Very nice. Are you still poisoned? You are not. 
Yeah, I think we want to take multi-weapon fighting. Soon. Come on. See if this chameleon comes over. You fool. Get constricted. Aha! Okay, what do we want to rapidly advance? I think I'm going to go for fighting this skin. Since I'm very intrigued by this. Especially with the extra AV and strength. It's currently capped because we're low level still. And again, I'm just I'm just letting everything come to me here. There's no reason to move to the enemy. Let them do all the work. Wow, that guy hit me hard there. Right, let's heal up. I think we're good. Anything here that we want to pick up? Uh, maybe just the copper nugget. We keep moving. How many points have we got right now? We're still short of multi-weapon fighting. But next level. Level 6 is always exciting because you get plus 1 to all of your um, attributes. That's when you can really start popping off. Hey, there's clearly a nest here, which I hate. Gotta move quickly if we want to find the, the nest. We are friendly with spiders, which is nice. Maybe there's not a nest. Oh no, there's definitely, there's definitely a nest. Nice. And that's a Nullworm Skull. There's a shotgunner there. You just shot your friend in the back, congratulations. Yeah, I definitely want to get charged as soon as possible. Okay, we picked up a shotgun. Which is crazy. I bet you've never seen a snake with a shotgun before. I knew there was a Gershling here. Friggin' guy. I think we actually may have burnt him with acid there, which is kind of interesting. Okay, there we go. Level 6, plus 1 to each attribute. We have 3 points to spend. This is currently capped. Let's do this for a DV bonus. Actually looks like the, the movement speed penalty is permanent. And then let's, uh, we need to upgrade our stinger a couple times here. So let's do that as well. Let's grab multi-weapon fighting. Just to give our tail a chance to uh, to proc. And we can either save for dismember or I think we go tactics. And then we save for charge. Make sure that multi-weapon fighting... Yeah, okay. But it doesn't have an ability, it's only single weapon fighting that has the ability that you can toggle. Man, where are all these centipedes coming from? Hmm, no idea. The only thing I'm kind of nervous about is finding a slumberling or something. There is a stairway up here, which is kind of interesting. Let's keep moving. Let's at least try and grab the, uh, the pickaxe. What do we get here? Freezing club. Couple battle axes. Which we, we may as well equip a secondary battle axe in our offhand. Let's definitely sting this guy. 
Try and constrict. There we go. Okay, we should have two axes equipped now. We do. Beautiful. Okay, we got cleave. Nice. Obviously, if we had multiple arms, we would be going crazy with multi-weapon fighting, but even still, I think it can still be pretty decent. Okay, did the sting... Sting didn't proc. It's actually a pretty scary fight right here. Kill the Snapjaw Warlord. Actually, wasn't that bad. I think we're a bit stronger than I'm, I'm used to at this point. Okay, here comes a Null Worm, which I'm a little bit nervous. There can only be one worm. Even though I'm a snake. <laughs> uh, let's sting. Good, good, good. We poisoned him. Let's constrict. There we go. Okay, the constrict ability seems kind of cool. Another crab. You ever been bitten by a crab, hun? Get stung. Beautiful. Level 7. Let's go for... So we get an extra DV bonus on top of Constrict. Okay, go Poison Venom. Save our points until we have enough for charge. Get constructed, thank you. Okay, there's an Electrofuge there, which is a little bit scary. Okay, Constrict failed. We should be friends though, yeah? Yeah, we are, it's a spider. Good, good, good. We should probably think about healing. We're fine, we're fine. Okay. Acid all over the place. You're welcome. I wonder if the acid stays fresh. Yes, this is fresh. That's really interesting. So if we can get an acid cell... We basically will have unlimited uh, power, as long as we're taking damage. Okay, we failed. Keep exploring here. Another stairway down there, that's good to know. Probably go down there after we've, uh, well, hopefully after we've dealt with grabbing the sphere of negative weight. Hot oh, damn. That's a lot of crab. We got a whole lot of crab. Okay. Good, good, good. They're coming my way. One by one. Foolish. Uh, let's sting. Let's constrict if we can. We failed. Incredible. Okay. We're hitting kind of hard. Come on. Now I've said that, you're going to make me look bad. There we go. Salt hopper. Okay, well we can see the... Uh, 
The corpse that we're looking for is right here, so that's great. Again, let's just kite a few guys down one by one. Play it safe. The crab is the more troublesome enemy here. Okay, good, good, good. We leveled up. Does that give us enough for charge? It does. That leaves us with 50 points. Not really much we can get for 50. We could spec into Physic. But we don't really have the intelligence to go any further. Having Nostrums would, would be good. But uh, yeah, we don't have the intelligence. So let's just save our points for now. Uh, get Construct. Come on. Okay. Looking good. There's a worn Banus here that we can equip. Otherwise, let's heal up and let's keep moving. Slowly, slowly. <clears throat> How's this guy looking? He's pretty messed up. Come on. Don't like fight fighting... <laughs> Don't like fighting the salt hopper and the crab at the same time. I think we're being shot by a slug snout as well. No, it's not. It's just a uh, a pea shooter, luckily. Can't charge in water, which is great. Good stuff. Okay, we made it. Minus helmet, grab it. Sphere of negative weight, grab it. All of the canned have it alls, this and this. Honestly, I feel like the pickaxe is the most valuable thing. On that body. I'm definitely anticipating a slumberling being around here somewhere. I hope I'm wrong. Okay, let's try and charge this guy. Lovely stuff. We actually used our tail there. This guy's poisoned. Sorry, double. I wonder. I don't actually know if you can double poison. Well, he resisted the poison that time anyway. Could really be called Venom Stinger, not Poison Stinger, but there you go. Flurry, sting. One thing I am actually curious about is if we took single weapon fighting, whether, um, like, Constrict would count and be refreshed if we uh, scored a crit. Not sure. Let's Constrict this guy. Now we do have a... Where did the Hermit go? We can potentially trade with this guy. Never mind, he's fighting a bat. You're welcome. Right. What do you have? You have a copper nugget. We're actually good for water right now. We could get rid of a couple things here. Just to save a tiny bit of weight. So we know this is a sphere. Please don't break it. Good, good, good. That's that I need. That is a shotgun. We will equip this. Just keep stinging, keep flurrying. Okay, we've almost leveled up again. Already at level 9, that's looking good. Okay, I like pricklers because they give good XP. There we go. So, this attribute point... I'm gonna go toughness, honestly. I feel like we should have a lot of health. Having a plus 3 modifier... 
This is very nice. Honestly, this seems like a really, really good... Other than the terrible poison damage thing and the saves against disease, getting both AV and strength from mutation seems insane. We'll go one point to this and one point to this. Get flurried, get stung. There's some acid on the floor. My bad. Alright, beautiful. Okay, so now we do have the stairway down here. And this is it. We keep going down and keep going left and right and seeing what we can find. I'm going to end it here. If you enjoy this video, subscribe for more Caves of Cud content. And I'll see you guys next time. Take it easy.